Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Back with the video on software defined radio application. We're going to look at one of the beautiful applications called IEEE 802.15.4. Uh, this application is the this is standard, the most widely used application for this is actually Zigbee. Uh, that's somewhere around different bands for it, but normally 2.4 gigahertz. You can also find these Zigbee modules that we normally use for drones and things like that. So my, uh, my setup is quite simple. I have one PC that is running uh, GQRX that is connected to my RTL-SDR dongle. On the other side, transmitting side, I'm using Adelum Pluto SDR, a full duplex capability. I'm going to also try to transmit it, also at the, to receive it at the same time using Adelum Pluto SDR. Also, I'm going to try to receive this packet using my RTL-SDR dongle that is running GQRX. So that's the setup for it. Uh, and let's quickly go into it. Uh, so what software do I need on the Linux machine? I'm using my favorite software called SDR Angel. Beautiful software. It comes free compiled with Dragon OS Focal. You can come with. So I'm using software defined radio uh, SDR Angel. And so how you add your transmitting and receiving devices. Let's just go here and add a transmitting device first. So by clicking here. Uh, make sure you have your Adlum Pluto SDR or any hack or platform, uh, any software defined radio platform connected. I'm going to choose a driver and I'm going to hit OK. All right, so this is my transmitting device. I'm also going to include a receiving device uh, since I'm going to use Pluto SDR as a receiving device as well on this PC, on this setup. On the other setup, I have GQRX running, so it's going to transmit that data in air and this guy which is connected to uh, this laptop which is connected via my rtl sdr dongle is going to capture that signal and try to display it on waterfall graph and also on the spectrum as well so just simply let's move this a little bit now now this thing has a cool capability so i have if i could go in add channels i can choose 802.15.4 modulator which i do let me choose this now uh, what 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 is it that we're gonna do? We're gonna tr try to transmit this data frame infinitely by pressing this. It will continuously transmit this data, and I'm gonna transmit that at what frequency am I transmitting that at 435 megahertz? Uh, so let me tell you something. Uh, people have always have confusion. You have different standards that were designed for different frequency. It doesn't have to be that frequency. When you're doing a lab test or trying to test the protocol, you can just do it on any frequency. It's the devices or it's the consumer electronics that determines. Uh, for example, if it's designed to have Zigbee at 2.4 gigahertz, of course, you cannot use that. But at, at for like research purposes, you can use that at any frequency. So I'm going to choose this 435 free megahertz, which is a default frequency. So uh, let's try to do this. Uh, so let, what, what, what we're going to look at, we're transmitting this. I'll shoot, I, I should see the transmitting uh, data right here on the spectrum and waterfall graph. At the same time, I'm receiving it using my Pluto SDR. So I should also see this here as well. And I also should see something on my GQRX as well. So let's try to transmit this. So let me just do it infinite. Try to transmit this. As soon as I start transmitting it, you see a spike here. And you're not noticing much because it, the data is coming in a form of a burst. I'm also going to start my receiver as well, which is right here. So you can see these bursts coming in. This is actually the data. Uh, let me just move this around here and move this over on this side or just move this over on this side move everything right here at this side so so you can you can see a clearer picture uh so all right so this is what am i transmitting uh from my pluto sdr this is what is being received by my pluto sdr uh, this is what I'm transmitting. These, this is the data frame that I'm transmitting from this. So this is showing the transmitting part. This is what is being received by my Pluto SDR because I'm using the full duplex capability. And on GQRX, you can clearly see uh, you'll see you're seeing some data. Let me just turn this off so you can clearly see that indeed it is. It is that data. So you won't see these data lines anymore. Now, just to make it clearer because my data is coming in a form of a burst. Let me turn this on 
you can go here on the modulator property instead of this just right click on this and and choose the delay between frames so we're, we're, we're going to choose we're going to have no delay between frames so if i make this zero and now you can start seeing this transmission that is going crazy on both so this is what is being transmitted this is what is being received by my pluto sdr and this is what is being received by my rtl sdr dongle so by just um, because i was having a frame time so every one second the frame is being transmitted now i there's no delay between that so it's just transmitting that continuously that's why you're seeing a graph like this so so that's the idea behind this uh uh 82.15.4 so basically what we're trying to do we're also receiving it in, on air indeed here too but on a separate device that is like further away i can also move my device a, f a little bit further away so you can clearly see the transmission strength going down if i'll be able to move this around uh, and make it a little bit further you might be thinking that okay both of these pieces are too close let me just try to move this around a little bit and let's see what type of an effect do I get because I have now I've just moved a little bit as you can clearly see there is definitely going to be an error so let me just come in line of sight with the antenna now I have moved around a little bit now you're not seeing any signal strength on my GQRX but as I come closer uh, because I'm simultaneously moving with my laptop and also carrying my Adlum Pluto SDR as well now you can see a better signal strength now I'm back uh, closer to my receiving antenna. So that's the beauty. That's the idea behind these, uh, this, this tutorial. I hope you like this a small tutorial on 82.15.4 using software-defined radio, Adelum Pluto SDR, RTL SDR, Dongle SDR, Angel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.